this video, I'm going to share with you how to create and add at the bottom of your view UI toolbar. And I'm also going to share with you how to add buttons on your UI toolbar. One we will position on the left, one on all the way on the right and one in the middle. And if you rotate your device, let, let's uh, rotate to, uh, let's say left to a landscape, the buttons are still nicely positioned one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. Let's rotate it back. And in the following video, I will also will share with you how to add events on these buttons. For example, when I click on the button play, we will change the status of the label, and we will also change the icon on the button. And when I click on uh, rewind, button, for example, we will change the status on the label and we will also change the status on the button. The icon will change from pause to play. And I can play it again and then fast forward and then play it again, pause, play it again and so on. Okay, so in this video we will create user interface and in the following video we will add some Swift code to control our buttons. So let me close this example and I have a brand new project opened here. It has one view controller on the main storyboard. It doesn't have any other code for the buttons. So I will select main storyboard. And then on the right side here, I have the panel opened, the right side panel. And to add UI toolbar on my view, I will need to go down here into my objects library. This is the third button from the left is the object library and I will look for UI toolbar. And here it is. I'll click, drag and position it at the very bottom. Okay, we have UI toolbar and we have already one item here. To add other buttons on your UI toolbar, we will look for buttons. I will type button and I find button at the very top, but this is not the button I want to use. I want to use bar button item. So this is the one that I'm going to drag next. And I have one for rewind, one for play. Let's do one for fast forward. Please notice that these buttons are aligned to the left next to each other. They're not stretched. So for me uh, to make them equally stretched from each other and make right side button to stretch all the way to the right, I'll have to use this flexible space bar button item component. So I'll click, drag and drop it in between first and second item. And it will stretch my second button from the left side. And I will drag and drop the one between the second and the third. And now I have all of these items equally positioned to each other. Now I can work with each item separately and I can use my view controller scene panel on the left side here. I can hide it, I can open it, and then I can go through elements by selecting one by one from this view. So I have main view controller, I have main view, I have toolbar, and then I have one item, flexible space, another button, flexible space, and another item. So I can select one item here and on the right side here, please notice that I have attributes inspector open. So to work with the attributes of this item, I'll select the item, go to my attributes inspector here button, and then I can change the bar item uh, title. For example, I can change it to rewind and hit enter. And that changes the title but we don't want to change the title only. We want to change the system icon. We could set the image, but we could use ready to use system icons, like for example, rewind, play, or fast forward. So for this icon, let me choose rewind. And the icon changes to rewind. I will now choose the second item, and then I will choose the system item and choose play icon. And then I will select the last item and I will choose the fast forward option. And here we go. I have the icons set. And now let me position a label on the middle of the view so that when the button is stopped, we can change the text and the label from play to unpause, from rewind to play and so on. So let me look for a label. Here's the label and drag and I'll position it at the middle. 
here we go and I will just stretch it all the way to the left and all the way to the right and I will go to attributes inspector and I will position the text of the label at the center okay and I don't need the label text here so I'll simply delete it so that it is clean and nice and if I need to find this label again I can always go here to the view controller scene and here's my label one last thing that I like to do once I position my elements on the view I like to select the view controller and then on the right side here we have a button resolve auto layout issues so I'll click on this button and then we'll reset suggested other constraints constraints to make Xcode create constraints for me so now I'll save my work and I can click and run this example to see how it looks so far I'll choose iPhone 6s and I'll click on play button okay my application is up and running I can now go to hardware button and rotate it to the left I see buttons are still nicely positioned and I will rotate it again to the right and here we go so now we are ready to continue and make this button stoppable and change the button icon when the button is stopped